Are you struggling with high blood pressure and respiratory issues, stress, depression, lack of concentration and focus? Do you want to increase your energy levels and improve the efficiency of your brain? Then don't worry, we have solution for all these problems. In this video, I will explain you each and every detail about Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. What is Nadi Shodhan Pranayam? Significance of Nadi Shuddhi? Four different variations of Nadi Shodhana Pranayam. Difference between Nadi Shodhana Pranayam and Anulom Vilom. Amazing benefits of Nadi Shodhana Pranayam. Precautions and contraindications for Nadi Shodhana Pranayam. That is, who should not practice Nadi Shodhana Pranayam. Mistakes that you should avoid during Nadi Shodhana Pranayam. You will get in-depth knowledge about Nadi Shodhana Pranayam in this video. So watch the video till end. Hello everyone, Namaste, Satshrikal, I am Sukhvinder Singh and welcome to Yoga Chatane. A channel where you will find content for improving your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual well-being. So if you are new on this channel, make sure you subscribe. So that you don't miss any of the health related tips and updates. Meaning of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam Nadi Shodhan Pranayam has a great significance in yogic culture. The word Nadi means energy channel and Shodhana means to cleanse or purify. Therefore, Nadi Shodhana is a practice that purifies and regulates the pranic channels or energy channels. Significance of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam According to the yogic physiology, the human framework has five bodies or five sheets or layers which account for the different aspects or dimension of human existence. These five sheets are Annamaya Kosh, the food body or the material body, Pranamaya Kosh, the bioplasmic or vital energy body, Manumaya Kosh, the mental body, Vijnanamaya Kosh, the psychic body, Anandamaya Kosh, the bliss body. Nadi Shodhana Pranayam has an important role in Pranamaya Kosh. The Pranamaya Kosh has wire like structures which carries energy or pran throughout the Pranamaya Kosh. These wire like structures are the Nadis or energy channels. As per the Goraksha Samhita and Hatha Yoga Pradipika, there are 72,000 Nadis, while Shiv Samhita states that 3.5 lakh Nadis emerges from the navel center. When Nadis are full of impurities, Vayu does not flow through them, which leads to pranic issues, which later manifest into physical or mental issues. If you want to learn each and every detail about 5 Pran Vayus and their role in human body, then watch this video. The link is available in the i button and the description tab with buildup of impurities and waste matter inside the nadis, body's capacity to circulate energy reduces. The body becomes lethargic, the energy level decreases and the activation of chakras and higher brain function is prevented. Therefore, whole body and the network of nadis should be purified and energy channels should be made strong. The pranic body is the intermediate link between the body and the mind. It acts as a bridge between the two. Therefore, it can be approached from the either side. However, it is easy to control and purify the pranic body through the physical body. Nadi Shodhan is practiced by alternating the inhalations and the exhalation between the left and the right nostril, which influences the Ida and the Pingal Nadis and the two brain hemispheres. This leads to control of oscillations of the body-mind network, bringing balance and harmony throughout the system. Nadi Shodhana is truly a balancing pranayam because whether the imbalance lies in a physical body or the mental body, this pranayam can restore the equilibrium. Benefits of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam What are the benefits of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam? The name of the pranayam explains itself. Nadi Shodhan opens the nadis, that is energy channels, and removes the blockages from the nadis and facilitates the free flow of prana and energy throughout the body. Any kind of blockage in system is not good, either in pranic body or in the physical body. A type of blockage that is very popular in this modern era is constipation. As per the study published by Medscape, chronic constipation affects approximately 63 million people in North America. And according to the latest survey published by NDTV, nearly 22% of India's adult population suffers from constipation. And Kolkata tops the charts with 28%. Yoga Chaitanya's constipation relief Ayurvedic tea is highly beneficial for managing constipation, bloating and digestion issues. It contains a perfect combination of natural ingredients that have been carefully selected to ensure quality and efficacy. This tea will help with constipation and aids digestion and improve bowel movement and detoxification. Our wellness teas are available at 50% discount and free shipping in India. 
यू कैन यूज कूपन कोड वाई सी यू टू फाइव टू गेट एन एडिशनल फाइव परसेंट डिस्काउंट दिस डिस्काउंट इज वैलिड फॉर लिमिटेड टाइम सो ऑर्डर इट नाउ लिंक टू द कॉन्स्टिपेशन रिलीफ आयुर्वेदिक टी एंड द कूपन कोड इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टैप बैक टू द टॉपिक नाडी शोधन प्राणायाम हेल्प्स टू काम एंड रिलैक्स द माइंड फर्दर इट इम्प्रूव द कंसेंट्रेशन एंड फोकस ऑफ द प्रैक्टिशनर इट स्टूमुलेट द थर्ड आई दैट इज अजना चक्र द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ नाडी शोधन बैलेंसिस बोथ नॉस्ट्रल्स एक्टिवेटिंग बोथ द हेमिस्फेयर ऑफ द ब्रेन दिस हेल्प्स टू इंक्रीज द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द ब्रेन नाडी शोधन प्राणायाम हेल्प्स टू बैलेंस ऑटोनोमिक नर्वस सिस्टम दैट इज सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम एंड पैरासिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम Nadi Shodhan Pranayam helps to create a equilibrium between the ida and the pingala nadi. Further, it balances the solar and the lunar, masculine and the feminine energies, and open sushumna nadi, that is spiritual energy channel. It reduces stress and anxiety and helps to relieve depression and balance hormones. Nadi Shodhan helps with cardiovascular and nervous disorders. It increases the efficiency of respiration, heartbeat and pulse rate slows down, and the blood pressure drops. Nadi Shodhana is highly beneficial for managing hypertension but make sure you do not practice kumbhak that is retention of breath it improves blood circulation and oxygen supply in the body and the brain and relaxes the mind and induces rest and sleep precautions and contraindications for nadi shodhan pranayam who should not do nadi shodhan pranayam mistakes you should avoid during nadi shodhan pranayam the practice of nadi shodhan should not be rushed or forced do it slowly with awareness beginner should start with the ratio of 1 is to 1 and gradually move on to the ratio of 1 is to 2 for inhalations and exhalation avoid retention of breath that is kumbhak in case you experience any discomfort then reduce the duration of inhalations and exhalation those suffering from high blood pressure heart disease and peptic ulcer should not practice retention of breath that is kumbhak always practice as per your comfort level do not strain Do not create any hissing sound during the inhalations and the exhalations. The breath should be slow, gentle with awareness. Do not apply the strong force while blocking the nostril with the ring finger and the thumb. How to practice Nadi Shodhan Pranayam? Or how to do Nadi Shodhan Pranayam? To practice Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, sit in any comfortable posture like Vajrasan that is Thunderbolt pose or Adamantine pose, Padmasan that is Lotus pose or any cross leg posture like Sukhasan. अर्धपद्मासन और सिद्धासन विद अ स्ट्रेट स्पाइन यू कैन टेक अ क्वेश्चन और अ योगा ब्लॉक टू एलिवेट योर हिप्स स्लाइटली दिस विल हेल्प यू कीप योर स्पाइन स्ट्रेट इन केस इफ यू कैन नॉट सिट इन एनी ऑफ दीज पॉस्चर देन सिंपली सिट ऑन द चेयर विद अ स्ट्रेट स्पाइन प्रेफर विच एवर इज कंफर्टेबल फॉर यू प्लेस द लेफ्ट हैंड ऑन द लेफ्ट नी इन अ डिजायर्ड मुद्रा यू कैन रेफर टू द प्ले लिस्ट एंड चूज द डिजायर्ड हैंड मुद्रा द लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द आई बटन एंड द डिस्क्रिप्शन टैप Now create the Nasagara Mudra, the nose tip position with the right hand. To create the Nasagara Mudra, move the right hand in front of the face. Now place the tip of the index finger and the middle finger in between the eyebrows. Keep both the fingers relaxed. Now move the thumb just above the right nostril and ring finger just above the left nostril. The thumb and the ring finger will control the flow of breath in the right nostril and the left nostril. Keep the little finger relaxed. If you have any issue in the shoulders. or if you want to practice nadi shodhana for a long time duration then support the right elbow with the palm of the left hand under it keeping your head neck and spine straight like this option 2 if you don't want to keep index finger and middle finger in between the eyebrows then simply fold them at the base of the thumb the thumb and the ring finger will control the flow of the breath in the right nostril and the left nostril keep the little finger relaxed Technique one for beginners: Sit in any comfortable posture with a straight spine. Relax the whole body and close your eyes. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Create the desired mudra with the left hand and Nasagara mudra, as explained earlier, with the right hand. Close the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale and exhale five times from the left nostril. The rate of inhalation and exhalation should be equal. After completing the five breaths, release the right nostril and press the left nostril with the ring finger. Inhale and exhale five times from the right nostril. Lower the hand and breathe five times from both the nostrils. This is round one. You can practice three to five rounds in the beginning.
So let's do it. Inhale. Exhale. 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 Technique 2. In this technique, we will count the length of inhalation and exhalation from the left and the right nostrils. While inhaling, mentally count 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, until the inhalation ends comfortably. While exhaling, simultaneously count 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm. If you are practicing breathing exercises for a long time, then you can start with 5 counts. Make sure inhalations and exhalations are equal. You can practice 3 to 5 rounds in the beginning. This is called ratio 1 is to 1. Technique of breathing exactly same, 5 times from the left nostril and 5 times from the right nostril. Technique 3. This technique is about ratio of 1 is to 2. In this technique, the length of exhalation will be twice of inhalation. That means on inhalation, we will be counting 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm. And while exhaling, we will be counting 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm and 6 ohm. So we will inhale and exhale from the left nostril 5 times. Inhalation time will be 3 ohm counts and exhalation time will be 6 ohm counts. After completing the 5 breaths, release the right nostril and close the left nostril with the ring finger. Now inhale and exhale 5 times from the right nostril. Inhalation will be 3 ohm counts and exhalation will be 6 ohm counts. Let's do it. Close the right nostril and inhale for 3 counts. 1 ohm. 2 ohm, 3 ohm. Now exhale 6 counts. 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, 6 ohm. Now repeat this 5 times on the left nostril. After completion of 5 breaths, open the right nostril and now close the left nostril with the ring finger. Now inhale 3 ohm counts from the right nostril. 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm. Now exhale 6 counts from the right nostril. 1 ohm. 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, 6 ohm. Repeat this 5 times on the right nostril. This will complete round 1. Technique 4. Ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1. In this technique, we will practice alternate nostril breathing with internal retention of breath. That is Antar Kumbhak. Actually, this is proper Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. This technique is an advanced version of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Those suffering from high blood pressure, heart disease, respiratory disease or peptic ulcer should not practice it. Close the right nostril with the thumb and slowly inhale through the left nostril for 3 counts. At the end of inhalation, close both the nostrils and retain the breath for 3 counts. Open the right nostril and exhale through the right nostril for 3 counts. At the end of exhalation, inhale through the right nostril for 3 counts. Again, close both the nostrils. And retain the breath for 3 counts. Open the left nostril and exhale through the left nostril for 3 counts. This is round 1 of ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1. That means you are inhaling, holding and exhaling for the same duration of time. You may have confusion that this technique is anlom vilom. Let me clarify it. Difference between Nadi Chodhan Pranayam and Anulom Vilom. In Nadi Chodhan Pranayam and Anulom Vilom, breathing starts from the left nostril. While exhaling, through the right nostril. However, in case of Anulom Vilom, there is no Kumbar, that is retention of breath. Whereas, it is compulsory in the case of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. If you want to improve your breathing and learn each and every detail about breathing exercise, then watch this playlist. The link is available in the i button and the description tab. I hope you like this video and it added some value to your life. If you like our work, please like, share and comment. We are open for the feedbacks. We have detailed videos coming on different Pranayamas and Yoga Asanas after this video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon with all notifications so that you don't miss any of the health related tips and updates. Thank you so much for patiently watching this video. Namaste. Satshrikal.
Take care. God bless you all.